Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel Peterisms where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I have learned as I have grown into the person that I am today. And it is Halloween Eve. Today and tomorrow are probably, and Christmas Eve, are like my three favorite days of the entire world. I love Halloween. Um, I may not make a video over here tomorrow. I may just take the day and relax and just enjoy Halloween and watch Halloween movies and stuff like that. So I just wanted to say that. Um, now, I'm going to read a meditation to start us off, but then I just brought one meditation book out here today. I brought The Daily Book of Positive Quotations by Linda Pacone, but I want to um, address a comment that I got, which is interesting because I had already been thinking by the other comments, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to make a video about the importance of the, the skill and the tool of having in your toolbox of being able to start your day over. And then I got this comments and I, and I, somebody asking me about how to start your day over. And I thought, oh my God, like I was already thinking about doing this video. I feel like I've made this video before. But maybe it's time to do an update on it. Maybe I'll say something different than I said before. But anyway, since I was asked, I want to make this video. So let's start with a meditation first from the Daily Book of Positive Quotations. Let me pull out my reading glasses. I just had them on because I just went across the street to my neighbor's house and she has this whole um, Halloween collection, like, you know, collect like glass collectible houses in this town. It's very, very cool. And so I showed the whole thing. So, um, okay, let's get into the meditation for today. Today is the 30th. Octo I can't believe October is almost over. October 30th. I may make videos tomorrow. It just depends on what time I get up. October 30th, learning. Learning is a treasure that will follow its owner everywhere. Chinese proverb. Some of us have spent years in school. Some of us have shelves full of books. Some of us seek the advice and counsel of experts. Some of us try to find answers to questions on our own. We stop learning when we stop asking questions and looking for the answers. We never need to stop learning. I don't think of learning as a formal education, but as something I do every day. I think this is such a great meditation, you know. Um, I don't know if there was a time that I thought that I knew everything in the, in the world, you know, like I now witness people that are a lot younger than me and I get hints of what my attitude and ego and pride was like in my early 20s, my late teens and things like that where you kind of thought your shit didn't stink, you know, you thought you knew everything and whatnot. I rarely cuss on this channel. Um, but you know what I'm talking about, like where you kind of like are unteachable, you know, you, which is where I love the phrase remain teachable. But I think one of the things that you learn over time is that like one of the things that is like, I can remember when like we as a team would interview and hire people when I worked in treatment. And one of the things I realized very quickly was I would rather hire somebody that was kind of green and teachable and was able to be taught and learn and grow than somebody that came in and thought they knew everything and they were going to school you, right? Well, that attitude doesn't extend past in my professional life into my personal life as well. And that today is probably one of my biggest pet peeves. I can be having a conversation with my friend Tanya, like we were just talking last night, we had a very long, started funny talking about reality TV and then it turned into something very serious. And we were having this conversation and you know, she was saying things to me and I was like, oh my God, like, I mean, we've been friends for 26 years. You know, there's probably not a lot we haven't talked about. And I shared something with her last night that I hadn't shared with her before, you know? And um, something that was kind of close to my heart, it was to do with something that we were talking about. And I shared it with her and she said something to me in response, you know? And um, I was like, wow, like I never thought of it that way, you know? And then she shared something with me that I didn't know. And we got started laughing and then I said something to her and she goes, oh my God, like, I." I really had never thought of it or seen it that way. Some, something very similar to what I had said. You know, and here's two best friends that know really literally everything about each other that are sharing things with each other that we still find new things to talk about, right? That we haven't shared after 26 years and we still learn from each other. 
I think that keeps life exciting. I think that keeps relationships exciting. And I think that once you stop learning and growing, life becomes very boring. Not only that, I mean, so for me to want to continue to grow and learn and change, right? Um, so, like, for example, I was watching this new show that started last night called The Garden, and it's called The, the Garden Cult versus Commune. And they want to kick this person out because they just really don't like her. They don't like her attitude. They think she's a phony and stuff like that, right? But she brings up this, but there's a couple people that do like her, and they bring up this, she brings up this point. She's like, I don't understand why your go-to is to kick me out instead of learning conflict resolution. And they're like, no, we just can't have you in here anymore. And like, you're just causing too much conflict and you just whatever. Like they aren't even willing as this peaceful communal community to try to do conflict resolution with her at all. Like they just want her out, right? Which is why a lot of people think it's a cult. And I was watching this and I was thinking, you know, that was kind of my attitude back in the day, like with people, like if I had a problem with you, like you're just out of my life, like in my twenties, right? Today, I don't feel that way. Today, I give people probably more chances than I should, you know, um, uh, or I have in my life. I mean, I don't really have people in my life today that I don't, like, I, I think about. I mean, I, I, my, my, sm my circle is so small, and I'm very thankful for a small circle, but my circle is so small that I don't think anybody in my circle today do I ever think of, like, should I keep them around or should I not? I hope that they're not thinking the same thing about me because literally I don't, I have, you know, my cousin Caroline, Tanya, Alex, you know, my in-laws, my dad and my stepmom, and Valerie, and my sponsor, and a couple other friends, you know, that I don't talk about on camera. My circle is very small. So, and Melissa and Jason, things like that, but, and Aaron and Eric, but I don't have tons of people. So, the people that I have in my life, I know today are like ride or die and are loyal, and I am to them as well. I don't want to have to be at 51 years old thinking, like, can I trust this person? Do I need them in my life? Things like that. Like, that's like my, I have too much peace and serenity, right? But I think that when you stop learning, A, and you, that's why I love the saying, remain teachable, because you never know what you're gonna learn. And the more you learn about your interactions with people, or your interactions with the world, or how you're responsive or reactionary, or just, you know, how to just let stuff fly, or what stuff should you address. I mean, there's so many things you can learn, right? But you enjoy life more, because you, you learn how you relate to other people and to the world, and you change and you evolve and you grow. And who I am today is not who I'm gonna be next week or next month or next year or 10 years from now, right? Like, I'm gonna continue to change and grow, and I hope for the better. Because the more I change and I grow and I evolve, the more I enjoy the world. And ultimately, isn't that what it's all about, Charlie Brown? Like, I mean, enjoying the best life that we possibly can. When we stay stagnant, we stay stuck, and we remain unteachable, okay, then we are very, we're boxed in to what we can enjoy about the world, you know? Um, people that are 80 years old that continue to grow and change me, I'm like, wow, like, I never thought of it that way. Like, the life, they still see the world and life as, as from the eyes of a child. I want that. I want that, that wonder and that awe, you know, of constantly being or surprised and pleasantly surprised by people as well, you know? So anyway, that was a great meditation. I love that today. Going into November, month of gratitude and things like that, I love that. So a lot of people commented on my video, the last video that I did. Did I do it yesterday? Was it the day before? I can't remember. But a lot of people commented, I don't think it was yesterday. Maybe it was. I don't know. But they said, oh, I, I thank you so much for the reminder of you can start your day over whenever you want, things like that. And I always say at the end of my vlog, or most days I say at the end of my vlog. So this person responded and they said, can you do a video on what it means to start your day over? Because I need some help with my mental right now. I'm over four years clean and I'm just starting to not want to be motivated with anything. And hey, listen, I have been there, okay? I have been there before. I've been there for days on end where I'm just like, I am not motivated to do anything. I'm not motivated to even watch a TV show sometimes. Even the things that I really enjoy doing, like listening to an audiobook, watching a TV show, whatever, like taking a nap, I'm not even motivated to do that. And then I start questioning, like, well, what's it all about? And things like that. And that's not a good place for me to be. Like, I gotta get out of that really quick, right? 
which is why I call people and I tell them where I'm at. That's the idea of living out loud and telling on yourself is to tell people that you trust in your life exactly where you're at. That's when I pick up the phone and I call my sponsor or I pick up the phone and I call Tanya or I talk to Alex about it when he gets home at the end of the day because I don't try to bother him that, that stuff unless it's severe throughout the day and say like, this is where I'm at today. Like I'm not feeling motivated. I'm like questioning the point of everything right now. I need help, right? And usually people will talk me out of that, you know, which is why I call them and why I reach out to them. I'm, I'm so thankful for that support system. The idea of starting your day over is something that I learned years ago um, when I was in early recovery. I can remember I had like a really bad day or something. And I mean, I've heard it tons of times now, hundreds if not thousands of times in recovery. Um, I, I was like, I don't know exactly how many, I, obviously I don't know how many times I exactly have heard it, but anyway, I was having a bad day or something and somebody said to me, you can start your day over whenever you want. And then I heard like a self-help tape. It was like Melody Beatty or somebody like that. It was like a self-help, I used to listen to self-help tapes and somebody said in there, you can start your day over whenever you want. Then when I worked in treatment, it was kind of a treatment slogan. It's not really even a recovery slogan. And I, a lot of people that I worked with, a lot of counselors and stuff would say, you can start your day over whenever you want. And I remember like co-facilitating this group, this other counselor, and this patient asked the, uh, uh, asked me or the other counselor, I can't remember, like, is it, does that really work? Like, can you really start your day over whenever you want? I'm like, yeah, I really can. And I kind of said it without even really thinking about it. This was the moment that it changed for me, right? And I remember this, like, this patient had, like, just was not having a good day. And, uh, and this was probably, like, in my late 20s. They were not having a good day. Um, found out bad news, all this kind of stuff, right? And they just, like, looked at us in our eyes. And they're like, it really, like, I can walk out of this room and I can start my day over. And I was like, yeah, you just, like, change your attitude. You just say, as soon as I walk out of this room, I'm going to have a better day. As soon as I walk out of this room, like, take as much time. Stay in this room as long as you need to. Five minutes, ten minutes, a half an hour, an hour. But when I walk out of this room, I'm going to see today in a different way. Like, I'm going to see it through positive eyes. I'm going to be grateful for things. I'm going to start my day over. Because today has not been a great day, right? And he was like, okay. I'm gonna start my day over and I'll never forget like him walking out of the group room and like hitting the top of the door and being like start my day over and he did and like the rest of the day was like he had like the greatest day right and I remember that whole situation happening and like that was so pivotal for me because I was like here's somebody that doesn't even have the knowledge that I have of having been sober for, at the time, if I was 29 or something like that, I don't know, seven years or whatever, the knowledge of a 12-step program. And this is somebody that, like, is, you know, st starting right now. And, like, it was that easy for them to get this start your day over thing and literally walked out of the room and was, like, laughing an hour later, you know? And I was like, if it really is that easy, it really can work. I mean, I remember, like, going home and thinking about that that night, you know, and being like, oh, my God, like, if it worked for him, then it can work for anybody. It can work for me. There are going to be days that we have that are filled with tragedy. People pass away. People get sick. We get sick. Things happen to us. You know, bills that you didn't expect to get. Money that you have to pay out that you don't know where it's going to come from. Things like that. You lose a job. Lose a friend. Have a fight with a friend. Have a fight with a spouse or a partner. There's going to be all kinds of things that are going to happen that we have a right to be really upset about. But I also think, at least I can only speak for myself and my experience, that I borrow a lot of trouble and allow myself to get upset and ruin my day over stuff that really doesn't matter. Like, just just getting up and feeling like not even feeling sick but just feeling like not in a great mood you know and in all honesty today I woke up and I just was kind of sluggish and I was just kind of like I don't even know that I want to do anything today right then I got some coffee in my new sparkle cup from Amazon can you see it and I was like you know what it's a beautiful day outside it's cold like I've Alex is at home. Like, I'm not going to just sit here and watch, you know, TV. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some videos and get out of myself. That's the other thing is getting out of yourself, you know? It's really about just having that mindset when you are like, I am literally giving away a day of my life. I'm exchanging a day of my life for just being in this negative space. And it's like everybody that I interact with, I'm being nasty towards. I'm being nasty towards myself. I'm not in a happy mood. No food I eat is good. I'm not grateful for anything and I need to pull myself out of it. So maybe that's doing a gratitude list. Maybe that's praying on it. Maybe that's speaking to the universe. Maybe that's playing some happy music. Maybe that's just telling yourself, I am wasting a day of my life and I am not willing to give this day of my life away 
because I'm pissed about something small and incidental that happened, because somebody left some nasty comment on a video or tweeted something out, or, you know, maybe somebody hurt my feelings throughout the day or something like that, right? Like, that stuff's all valid, but do I want to lose a day over it? No, so I'm going to start my day over. And by starting my day over, that can mean I take five minutes and I sit on the edge of the bed or I lay there in deep thought or, you know, I take a walk to the mailbox or down the street and back and, you know, oh, my coffee is spilling all over the place. And, um, you know, just get out of myself a little bit. And then, for me, it usually is through gratitude. And I start looking at like, wow, like this tree out here, it is so beautiful. You know, don't take that tree for granted. There are gonna be a lot of days coming up where it is gray and snowy. I'm kind of excited about these days, but it's gonna be cold. You won't be able to sit on your front porch. Be grateful for a day that you can sit out on your front porch. Be grateful for this cup of coffee that you have, that you could afford this fun blend cup. Be grateful that people wanna watch your videos, you know? Get out of yourself. Quit feeling sorry for yourself, you know? Don't lose a day. And one of the fa my favorite things is, actually when I worked in treatment, um, we used to read this thing in Hartzell Wilson, is who it's by. We used to read this thing every day in community in the morning, and it was called A New Day, the beginning of a new day. Hold on, and I want to read it to you because I love this. And some, and I have this copied in my phone, but it's easier for me just to look up. And you can look it up. Just look up Hartzell, H-E-A-R-T-S-I-L-L, -L, Wilson. And it's called This is the Beginning of a New Day. And there's tons of, like, memes and things of it you can look online. So anyway. And this is a good reminder for me of, like, when I'm having a tough day to remember this and, and live it. The beginning of a new day. This is the beginning of a new day. God has given me this day to use as I will. I can waste it or use it for good. What I do today is very important because I am exchanging a day of my life for it. It's not just some random day. It is a day of our lives. People are fighting for one more day for their life. When tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever. Leaving something in its place, I have traded for it. I want it to be a gain, not a loss, good, not evil, success, not failure, in order that I shall not regret the price I paid for it. And when I read that, and I need to start my day over, what I ask myself is, am I willing to just throw this day away and just act like it was another crappy day, or do I want to make the most out of it, even if I only have a half an hour still awake before I go to bed? Well, I like to try to make something out of it, even if the most I make out of it is learning that I'm not going to repeat that day tomorrow you know, and getting out of myself because I'm exchanging a day of my life for it. And when there are literally people on the earth right this moment as you're watching this video, right this moment as I'm making this video, that are fighting for one more hour of their life, one more minute of their life, one more day, when there are so many of us that are like, I wish I had one more day with my mom, I wish I had one more day with my aunt, I wish I had one more day with my best friend or my, you know, husband or boyfriend or child or grandparent or whatever, I think to myself, how dare you, Peter, just so friv frivolously throw away a day of your life. Start your day over, get in a better mood, be honest about where you're at if you have to, but be grateful that you were given this day and make the most of it. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.